Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on July 24th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well earthquakes, a look at volcanoes erupting, and as well some world weather. Starting out here, looking at our sun, looking at the last 48 hours, as we had quite a large plasma blast take off from the southeast region of our sun. This is the last 48 hours of imagery and as well a little earth to scale. But look at the size of that large plasma filament taking off, creating a full halo CME. Now this was also a backside event that just occurred today. So I'm pretty sure it was a coronal mass ejection taken off from the backside of our sun that created this large blast. Plasma just cruising away from the sun. ISWA is reporting a large solar event on the backside of our sun today. Looking at the last four days of imagery, that was our large event on the 20th into the 21st, extending the geomagnetic storm. And then we just had these events go off. Large halo CME produced from this sun event. This is Lasco 2 imagery. Our sun is behind that red disc in the front. And we're able to see all of the energy and the plasma being shot out of our star. Thanks to Solar Dynamics Observatory, as well NASA and NOAA, and all of the creators making these images for us. And I want to thank everybody for tuning in today, staying aware and prepared, watching our sun go through its 25th cycle, Solar Cycle 25. multi-spectrum large coronal holes now turning away small solar tornado in the southwest region of our sun as noted just yesterday looking at 304 angstroms two earth facing sunspot regions producing c-class solar flares seen about five of them over the past 48 hours another close look at the bright fiery regions on the almighty sun as well 171 angstroms here you can really see the magnetic field lines with the heliosphere you can just imagine the energies that come out of this large sun. Amazing universe, an amazing solar system, and amazing watchers. Thank you so much for tuning in today. That was a long look at our sun through solar cycle 25. Let's have a look at ISWA space prediction spiral. You can see they do have quite a large event taking off from the backside of the sun. Just missing Mercury. Well, actually, it hit Mercury and as well Stereo A. Actually not Stereo A, it is the SOHI satellite. Geospace magnetosphere cut planes, this is the pressure on our planet as things are still ramped up during our geomagnetic storm. Having a look at our solar X-ray flux, it remains in B range after popping up into one, two, three, four, five, maybe even six C-class solar flares. Geomagnetic activity slightly elevated, just over KP3. Schumann resonance for today is a power of 48, coming down quite considerably since yesterday and the day prior. So that is as our geomagnetic storm is leaving, and we do have some more activity on its way. So an amplitude of 48, quality of 11.3, and a power of 31. 
Let's get to earthquakes here the past 24 hours as it is a very quiet time. We're going to start out with the most recent here in Sulat, Philippines, 4.7 earthquake as well as 5.4 here at Ternate, Indonesia. Papua New Guinea here with a 4.4. And Port Olroy, Vanuatu, 5.0. And our deepest earthquake here the past 24 hours, 4.4, over 500 kilometer depth. And that was actually overnight last night. Hawaii seeing lots of activity. Look at the summit caldera as it did bubble up and overfill or overflow its its banks here. Normally there's just a fire open pool there in the center, but she seemed to soften up somewhere and leaked out all around the ring of this massive caldera of Kilauea. So heads up, Hawaiian friends, you could be on the verge of a massive eruption. Across North America here for earthquakes off the coast of Oregon, 4.0. Other than that, not much to talk about except for a small earthquake swarm that continues through White City, New Mexico. Minor activity through the Caribbean. And then some pretty rare earthquakes here. Deep, depth-wise, a 4.3 in Brazil, 610 kilometer depth north of Sabancaya. And as well, a 4.2 of Paracas, Peru, uh, southwest of uh, Sabancaya Volcano. So heads up there. Some strange earthquakes going on during this quiet time. 4.4 and a 4.8 there at the center of Iceland. Pretty much the center of the, the island as well. Petrinja, Croatia, 4.0 earthquake. Iran seeing a 5.6 and a 5.4 yesterday. But other than that, we're only observing about 175 earthquakes across the USGS map, and that is a low. That is below average, so heads up. Let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent volcanoes getting updated, and as well satellite imagery from around the world. Popo in Mexico seems to be puffing and huffing away the last few days. As well, Nevada, Nevada de Ruiz in Colombia. Suez and Ajima in Japan, Era in Japan, Sabankaya in Peru, Ibu in Indonesia, Krakatoa, Indonesia, Senge in Ecuador, Shevelich, Russia, Raventador in Ecuador, Dakono in Indonesia, Karamiski, Russia, Semeru, Indonesia, Pavlov, United States, that's just awakened a couple days ago, Fuego, Guatemala. So it's a volcano's day, definitely, as we just updated about. 14 volcanoes out of the active and erupting 48 across the planet. Some pretty nice storms moving up through Montreal there. A tornado reported yesterday, Montreal, Canada. Other than that, across the Pacific looks very wet, but no major typhoons or tropical systems developing in the short range forecast here. Pretty sizable low pressure system over Western Russia right now, just east of the Black Sea. Grinding away there. And as well, we've got extreme heat conditions that will continue here through parts of Europe as all of this warm, warm African air is being pumped up. Huge high pressure ridge there. And that's all very warm Saharan African air. So heads up, stay safe, and stay hydrated, my European friends from, and everybody from around the world. As we go through these times together, let's have a look at weather. Forecast here for the next 24 to 36 hours, as we do have stormy conditions moving through parts of northern Ontario and into Quebec. And that is has not changed since last night's forecast as well. Stormy conditions through Colorado as a low develops there. And as well, severe weather moving through Saskatchewan with that cold front and a low pressure center off of northern BC still just being grinded up by a high pressure ridge off the Pacific there. So major watch areas are all across the northeastern seaboard of the United States and as well 
The Atlantic provinces of Canada watch for stormy weather over the next couple days from that cold front. Hudson Bay low and as well a cold front sweeping across the Alberta plains going to bring scattered showers, possible thunderstorms through southern Alberta, but the state's daily evaporation storms. Just watch for them to pop up every day with all that heat. Other than that, looking around the world, no major tropical systems here developing over the Atlantic. For the long range, anyway. Short range, there is a tropical system developing off the coast of Mexico through eastern Pacific. But looks like that will be heading out to the open air. Huge high pressure ridge off the coast of the Pacific, so pretty much will get blown away. West Pacific, same thing. No major tropical systems, typhoons developing. But quite a, uh, there's a couple rain-soaked low-pressure systems here across the Indian Ocean to watch out for. Heads up, my friends and family. You want a full detailed forecast? Check out last night's video. Much love. Thanks for watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.